The return of in-person court proceedings is good news for organizations like CASA of Lexington looking to rebound from a very virtual past year. The Supreme Court of Kentucky lifting a majority of the COVID-19 restrictions followed by the state court system in May. LEX 18's Christiana Ford explains how CASA Lexington is hoping the change helps them keep bluegrass area children safe in tonight's edition of The Rebound Kentucky. It's been a long year for the court appointed special advocates of Lexington. The cases, they still piled up and virtual court went on, but now they are ready to be back. In life, there are some things that just call to you. I've always had a passion for working with children, helping children um, through youth groups and other things. For Brianna Carroll, volunteering as a court appointed special advocate was that something? I think that the most intriguing part for me is being a voice for children in court. Through the pandemic, that voice has had to work a little harder to be heard through virtual proceedings and times when they couldn't even sit next to a child. Many would do porch visits where they'd sit up chairs on the porch and meet. We had one volunteer that bought window markers and played tic-tac-toe so the child was inside the home, the volunteer was on the porch. So very creative people. In 2020, 1,205 children had open abuse or neglect cases in Fayette, Bourbon, Woodford, and Scott counties. 239 CASA Lexington volunteers represented 585 of them. Our volunteers have been some of the only people actually laying eyes on children through COVID because state social workers, doctors, etc., are doing virtual visits. Now with more in-person opportunities and CASA advocates being allowed back into the courtrooms. Time to bring out the slacks and get rid of the pajama pants because court is going back in session in person. CASA Lexington Executive Director Melinda Jamison says the change is going to be a godsend. I think that in some ways it gives a broader picture of what's going on and makes people feel more connected in a way. So as things have went to more social media and virtual, there's really not as much social interaction in that. So I think people are hungry for true in-person, seeing one another interaction. As Kentucky rebounds out of the pandemic, so do the social services agencies and volunteers like Brianna, just looking to provide a little more help. We're able to feel more comfortable about going in settings where you need to help, the ch where you need to visit with the child or provide some kind of review um, or interview individuals. And so I think that this rebound Kentucky is important and plays a crucial role as, as well for CASA. Christiana Ford, LEX 18 News.